Hello, today we will explore how to create, deploy and test OpenFabric AI apps, the core technical components and how everything works together in a step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's have some fun. In this video, we're going to create an interesting AI app that will connect to our webcam, recognize all the person in the image and return a list with their names and face coordinates. Before starting, be sure that your local environment is set and you have an OpenFabric node running, the OpenFabric toolkit installed and the Docker and Docker Compose services are operating. To set up an AI app, we are going to follow the next steps. First, we will create the ontology model responsible for the app structure. Having this prepared, we will generate the project containing all the relevant files and settings. Then. We will add connection for the app input, output and the user configuration. And finally, pack everything, deploy and test it. In OpenFabric, the app data model is based on ontology and concept. By oversimplifying everything, looking for a resemblance in the traditional programming, we can see the ontology as a sort of namespace and the concept as something similar to a class or structure. For our particular case, we will define the input, output and configuration data model of the app. As you can see, I have prepared a list with all the commands I will be running in this tutorial. Now let's create our ontology. There are two arguments, first is the ontology name and second is the author name. Once we have the ontology set, we can start adding our concepts. First, we will be adding the concept portraying the app input. The face input contains only one property called image, which is of type camera. This means the property gets its data from a webcam. To accomplish this, we're going to run two commands. First, create a concept. Second, add property to it. Ok, that's it for our face input. Now let's create the output. This will contain a list with all detected person and their face position. As seen in the picture, the face output includes a collection of face position objects, entailing the face coordinate of the input image. Ok, let's run the comments. First, create the face position concept. Second, add property to it. Then, do the same for the face output. Please note the one over slash notation used to define one to many relationships. In simple term, we are marking the property as a collection. Our app retrieves the data from a video source and provides a list of all detected people and their face position. Now it's time to create a configuration concept, providing the person name and a reference picture. Ok, let's run the comments. First, create the concept. Second, add property to it. Alright, to summarize it, we have designed an ontology with all concepts required by our face recognition AI app. If you list the current folder, you should see all the associated files. Next, we will create the app blueprint containing the Python project structure. Once the command is executed, you should notice a newly generated face recognition folder. Now let's have a high level look at the generated structure of our project. The app hooks are defined in the main.py file. These are the main entry points for application configuration and execution. Beside this, you can see a project.tml file which is used 
to manage all the used libraries and frameworks. Those familiar with Python environment should recognize the poetry dependency system. Now that our basic structure is in place, we can add the app connections. These are stubs implementation for the app ontology concepts. To do that, let's run the required commands. First, add the input connection. Then the output connection. And finally, the config connection. OK, the project structure should be updated and you should see newly generated files. We'll review them next. You should see a package with some new Python classes corresponding to each connection stub. Let's have a closer look at the generated sources. The toolkit has created stubs implementation for face input, face output including the face position, and the configuration. Now let's have a sneak peek at the hooks implementation. For the configuration hook, as it can be seen here, each time the configuration is changed, the information is stored so it will be used later to identify the people from that image. In the execution hook, faces are detected in the input stream image, compared with the known image set, and then all the information is packed as a face output result. So it's time to see our AI app in action. We will republish our AI app in the marketplace, but before that, create a zip file with face recognition folder to be used later. So let's do it. On the marketplace, click on the create new app button, which will open the app creation dialog. In the name field, set the names of the app. On the execution type, select recurrently and enable auto start. Set the execution price. Upload the preview file. Upload the app zip. Save everything. Congratulations! Your first app was deployed on Open Fabric Marketplace. So let's test it. Pick the app, create an instance, select infrastructure, and pay. Now the app is started. As you can see, the UI of the application has been automatically generated by the platform. If you remember the concept we defined, these are the base for the generated interface. Okay, so before I start the app, I need to customize it. So I need to specify it, who are the people and how should I recognize it. So I click on the customize button. I will add my name and a picture with me. Save the configuration and now we can start using it. So as you see, the app has started working and it's able to recognize me and provide my face coordinate. Cool, isn't it?